The world is a vampire. Oh, yeah. oh what's up, fellas? JPS Delivers here. BJ Simmons back at it again. We are on a three-game winning streak since the loss to Wisconsin. Just beat the fuck out of those pedophiles with Jerry Sandusky and company. We're fucking two wins in a fucking row with this. Actually, no. We are two games in a row have won, I believe. First one was against uh, Iowa State. I think so. And, yeah, I think it was against Iowa State. And then just beat Penn State. 2-1 and one right now in the Big Ten. We're at home. We're against the Fighting Illini. They got Richard Mendenhall. But they are out of juice. They got, I mean, hey, we have no juice to squeeze for this game. B.J. Simmons has no tight squeeze. We know B.J. more than anybody else. Good-looking freshman on campus. He likes it tighter than anybody else does. Even however much we love it tight. No one likes it tighter than Mr. B.J. Simmons. This team is riding hot. Unlike their cornerback number 19 starting off the game. We are fucking pumped. And it, it always makes me laugh. You know what I mean? Like you fucking watch like some Mac game or something like that. Watch some Mac and you fucking start a game off. And like you just see that the home team's pumped, and you're like, it's like, oh, 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 zombie nation, and then fucking like the student section's going batshit as they should, and then their fucking teeth just get dick slapped in front of them. But hey, we got B.J. Simmons on the fucking field. This game's not over yet. Momentum shifted right away to the away team, but hey, B.J. Simmons at fucking quarterback. We got the strongest arm all the way in the West. Maybe the fastest release all the way in the West. It's B.J. Simmons. We got this nice star running back. I believe he's a junior. Or, no, no, he's a senior, which uh, makes me nervous for next season. But, however, we do have a nice backup running back who should be near his overall uh, for next year. But, what? Hey, I got to pull Bill Belichick right here. When we're fucking up this bad and fumble the ball, I can't be looking. At, I can't be looking ahead. And, man, I wish we would have hit him. But, however, though, it's going to be punted off. Quarterback number 14, and there you go, baby. Star middle linebacker, and leave it to a star middle linebacker for Iowa to be white. The white man right there with the catch. One white man steals from another white man on this play. Unfortunately, no Juice Williams. I wanted to face this Illini team at full strength. I know, and look at that. That should have been fucking caught. That, that was a beautifully placed football, and now B.J. Simmons fucking up on that one. Just, hey, the, the awareness is going to get better as he gets older, as we mature as viewers of the craft that is the BJ. And, boy, there's nothing worse than a talentless BJ Simmons. And so far, it hasn't been, uh, hasn't been pretty. Uh, losing right now. I believe it's still 7-zip, but forcing enough. Beautiful, beautiful call right here. And an even prettier catch by the slot wide receiver. It is a tied ball game now. Nice hit after this small little gain. Rashard Mendenhall does take it though, but I'll tell you who else takes it. Is this fucking team right up the ass as this man, number 13, takes it to the fucking house. I was gonna go up by a touchdown, by a score. And I don't, again, it makes me laugh with all these fucking records in these games, man. Like, th no, the longest punt return has to be longer than the fucking default shit they have in this one. But I don't think, uh, you know, there might be records broken today by this wide receiver. And uh, records also broken by conceiving f the highest average ever of, like, a dude to score, like, two or three touchdowns. Look at that. Two catches already averaging more than 70 yards of play. I'm lucky that that ball right there did not get taken to the house. And uh, so is B.J. Simmons trying to move it down the field. He does. We are trying to, you know, this offensive coordinator is moving along with this man's talent. You got to direct it sometimes, you know. You got the beautiful clay. It's time for the artiste to put his hands around it or hers. I don't know, we're not here to be sexist, even though that was a man right there who just hit the shit out of B.J. Simmons on that play. Ball thrown out, but it's going to be picked off. There's one thing B.J. Simmons is almost as good at as his clutch gene, and that is throwing interceptions right there. But, hey, little trick right here to get back at them a little bit. Hey, if you're going to intercept the ball at the fucking, uh, you know, get a touchback on that one, 
And we're going to fucking get that damn penalty. Now it's first and 20 after the unsportsmanlike conduct, which it was 15. But however, though, it was at the 20-yard line. And at that point, when you're in the red zone, every, or well, even if you're backed up at that point, every penalty is going to be halfway back to the goal. It's only 10 yards compared to the usual 15. Ball thrown out. Drop pass, though. You would have thought that dude was cooking up a fucking meal considering he was averaging 70, more than 70 yards per catch so far in this game. But fortunately enough, does not get the catch on this one. And unfortunately, a drop pass. It was, wasn't the best of decisions, including this one right here, as this fucking defense, hey, they came to play to begin this game. Um, honestly, it is, some of these games are really feeling like Big Ten games, just not, you know, unless it's an Ohio State game where they score fucking 70 points. But, uh, these defenses have played pretty well. I mean, Penn State game, it seemed like it was, what, two or three scores at the end of that game, even though uh, it was literally ended up as two or three scores. I wish that would have been intercepted. An interception, or I wish that had been intercepted. But we're going to just have to deal with it, just like they're going to have to deal with it right here. And then here it is to go up in this game. Man, we really beat the blockers on that one. We had really good timing. But unfortunately, not able to get a block. They're going to go up 17 to 14. And then a poorly timed pass. But hey, it's a defensive fuck. It's a linebacker. He's not going to make that catch most of the time. And unfortunately, not uh, even on this fucking difficulty. On that Heisman difficulty, you're not seeing it. Quarterback going out, though. And there he is again with another. I mean, horrible, horrible defense by myself. As that free safety was by himself. But I'll tell you what. Though the man wasn't by himself, that fucking cornerback. He had the safety right there and the number one target for this passing attack. Hey, we're down by 10. Gotta fucking get it going. That play action rollout was beautiful. And, well, it wasn't the prettiest play, but it was the prettiest catch we've seen in a good while. I think we're gonna see a prettier catch later. No spoilers on this fucking one. But. Shitty run on that one. And then this is his fucking... Dude, B.J. Simmons, man. Holy fuck. I know he likes it tight. But holy shit. It doesn't have to... Everything's tight when you're fucking big dick and this fucking hard. Holy shit. Number 69, man. Flipping that dude upside down. Beautiful run. It's going to make it now a three-point deficit for this team. Starting to run the ball a little bit more effectively and then a lot more often to quarterback... Just a bad angle taken by me controlling the star linebacker. But look at that. Rashard Mendenhall showing his conspiracy theories right there as he blows the star linebacker away. But force enough, left end number 99 is a beast. Gets a nice tackle. Starting to move down the field. A big third down. And force enough, getting the stop right here. Down by three. It's a third quarter. Big play needed. And a big play indeed beautifully done we saw these boys attack earlier didn't get it that time but hey when you're coming up with something like that and you have a 50 50 chance and you don't get it the first time you better get it the next time and speaking of getting it bj simmons really showing his leg look at him he's in the fucking zone folks he's in the fucking zone he still gets rid of it nice six yard gain or five yard gain now second and five nice broken tackle bj simmons is getting it done and now clock starting to run out in the third quarter bj simmons running around who can he hit on this play and unfortunately gonna be an incomplete pass we were hoping but hey fourth down oh man that was a fucking butthole was tight on that one right there folks i don't i don't know if anybody else watching was nervous on that one and then bj simmons throws it back and it's going to be a flag it's going to be intentional grounding so that i mean hey i would honestly at this point considering his carrying is not very good as that attribute is not very high whatsoever but hey ball down the field but it's going to be intercepted poorly timed setting up the user catch but hey it's technically like a punt at this point inside the 10 yard line six yard line nice little tackle hey a, a fucking stop is needed right now fellas a fucking stop is needed and forcing enough get the ball back this iowa team moving it down the field wonderful counter trap to get on the outside trying to set up a player should have been a touchdown right here but what a clutch play by the outside linebacker not better plays you can really do and really not better open field tackle that was a sick fucking tackle and an even more disgusting tackle 
for that D tackle. That was another clutch play, stopping the fullback dive, which is pretty invincible until that one right there. That was definitely an immovable object that was happening right there. Have to settle for three points, but that's the way to do it. Uh, right here, third one, another big play. And they're going to get the first down, Rashard Mendenhall. He does fumble it, though. But it's going to be a first down after recovering the fumble. Beautiful hit by the D tackle. This team is starting to hit the shit out of this Illini offense. I wish Jamba Juice Williams is playing this game because Rashard Winnenhall was showing some nice uh, flair at certain points. B.J. Simmons now trying to get that clutch gene going down the field. He's going to get around nine yards now moving down showing be what a cut move i wish the block would have been made maybe we would have seen um, bj simmons get down the field rush average has not been amazing the entire season now doing no huddle what are we going to do here what's bj simmons going to do he's going to get a fucking first down again nicely done to celebrate it bud but hey this game's not over with yet incomplete pass now second and 10. B.J. Simmons, oh, just gets absolutely fucking leveled. But here, sometimes when you're setting up a fucking play, baby, greatness is needed. And that's going to be the clutch play. Is it going to be what gets B.J. Simmons in company to get their way? Yes, it is. Beautifully done. Clutch game. Didn't need to be this close. Honestly, there's a if you hold back a couple of those touchdowns, it could have been what 34 to like to 13 or something like that. Who knows? Hey, a win's a win. B.J. Simmons and company. He's only a freshman, folks. He's throwing a lot of interceptions, but he is starting to get some yardage right there. I mean, also too. I don't know if it's common to see the quarterback. You don't want to get. Hey, that's a beautiful shoulder right there. That's going to get drafted someday in Madden 2008. We can't be dicking around too, too much with number 69, B.J. Simmons. Um, even though we've been dicking around with some of these teams, we need a we need another game. Um, I think we need another Indiana game. That's who the first team we beat in the Big Ten was, Indiana. Um, need another game like that. This team, hey, it's building character, though. Not the best passing performance. Two interceptions to the one touchdown. No 200 yards by B.J. Simmons, but he did get... Finally, a, what, a positive rushing game, and he had quite a bit. I mean, his ad, his speed has gone up. Trainer's doing beautiful, beautiful work with this man that, hey, he's got the arm. He just needs to build the awareness. That the athleticism is starting to come up, the body strength. And, you know, hey, I mean, it's kind of like Mitchell Trubisky. Don't dick around with the fuck. Who gives a shit about your fucking, you know, hang clean fucking record? No one gives a fuck because guess what? You know, when you're fucking dealing with guys that are 300 fucking 50 pounds tackling you, no one gives a shit about how strong your fucking shoulder is at that point. Get shit done in your fucking head. As always, fellas, be grateful and see you next fucking video.